Hey guys, Dotson Geist here with Marine Max Charleston. Today we're going to showcase our brand new 2020 277 LXF from Scout Boats. It's a newer model out there. We're starting to get the, the, uh, the, the boats on the lot. We just want to take a moment and walk you through it. As you see, I got my little partner back here, Fred. Say hi to little Gator Fred. He's out about sunbathing with us today. But I want you guys to walk through the transom here with me. We've extended the uh, transom from its predecessor, gave you a true walkthrough as well as allowed us place to mount a uh, ski tow for optional. You can see our raw water wash down there as well. Right where Carl's standing, we've got our uh, aft entry there, but as well as our port, or our starboard walkthrough. We have a pull-out seat right here in the back that's now recessed a little further back in the cockpit to give us a little more space. We're still keeping up with our true tr uh, traditional uh, bilge access with all your pumps. Macerators, twin fish boxes on port and starboard. We do have rod storage under the starboard side, as well as tackle storage. We'll look over here to the port side and we'll show you what's a little bit new here. So now we have the standard port entry door that easily opens for docking or swimming. We have our standard live well in the aft corner here. And then we've got the leaning post with the additional storage box up top with the slide out 65 quart Yeti. Hard top with the rocket launchers. <laughs> Moving to the helm, excuse me, with the flip down bolsters, as well as armrests with the Cayenne interior. We have the Edson steering wheel. Tiltable helm, the standard, or that's the uh, the 10 inch Garmin. You can also do 12s, twins, whatever you prefer to see. Um, stereo control, all of our push buttons up there, as well as hard top, redundancy switches up top. We do have a lockable glove box with our charging ports. See our keys in there today. We'll walk around the leaning post here. Show you our tempered uh, glass enclosure, as well as our head so now we have the porcelain head upgrade on this particular boat we've got our cabinetry over here that now houses our batteries for easy access but as well as gives us a little storage cabinet you'll see this big black cover that is the optional sunshade that this boat has for it and you see got our props down below moving forward we've kind of widened the cockpit or, or the bow seating area you'll see the bolsters kind of bump out in the uh, gunnels here to give us all that room in the bow here. So you have a traditional U-shaped uh, seating, but as well as the high back lounges in the front. These now easily removed. So if you do have more of a, 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 a entertaining day when you want the easy access to your glove box and drink holders, you can easily remove those and store those under the seat below me. Sticking with the common theme with Scout Boats are integrated clean boxes with the uh, finished lids as well as all insulated to use them for coolers or fish boxes. You have another large well in the front. You go down, and again, all nice, clean, and finished. Keeping with the trend of the LXF series, their windlass is standard. This particular boat does have the bow boarding ladder that deploys off the front, as well as having that integrated windlass. This boat, we added the uh, rod holder cup holders, so those are a cool little double feature. We can still incorporate with that lounge or the uh, sunshade, excuse me, um, but as well as using the entertaining setup. We have a integrated cooler box right in front of the console. And one last little thing, we do have the fender pros installed off the side. So they're either quick disconnects for your fenders. Those can go port and starboard. Guys, I hope you enjoyed your tour of our 2020 two, uh, 277 LXF from Scout Boats. If you guys have any questions, feel free to reach us at 843-747-1889. And again, my name is Dotson Geist from Remax Charleston. Take care.